That's why we live our life good. Like Christian belief, it doesn't make sense. Or like you just believe in Jesus, you go to heaven. And you tell them, okay, well that Hitler believed in Jesus, is he going to heaven? No. It's like, you know, choose whatever you want. Right, right. But, very open. But, but, but as a religion, yeah. like what, what do you believe? As a religion? Mm. Uh, I'm not religious. Okay, but do you believe there's a God? Oh, yeah. There's, I believe there's. Yeah, good question. Good question, right? So it's good to ask that yeah. question in your life, right? I know. Are, are you visiting San Diego or? Yeah. All right, that's cool. Day, yeah. Just for the day. I think there's something, yeah. Wow, that's you amazing. Can call, you can, either way you call, okay. you can call it God. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. So there is a creator, yeah. right? Who made us, who made this amazing world that we live in, the universe, the perfection. I mean, think about your body, right? You have a heart, you have a kidney, you have a liver, you have all these functions, the brain, ear, nose you don't even think about it like you don't think heart beat 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 it just beats right you don't think kidney cleanse my liquids it works when you get an infection your body brings white blood cells and attacks the infection and figures out how that virus works and then learns how to fight it the next time but, but who made that Right? No, no company, no Siemens, no Apple, no. Yeah. So, so, so it's very logical that there is a creator that made us, right? That we didn't just come out of nowhere, right? Like imagine, what's your name? Kristen. Kristen? Yeah. Osman. My name's Osman. Okay, nice So imagine if I told you that I didn't bring this here. This table, these books, this paper, this cloth, this, this tent, water bottles, all of this came by itself. Would you believe me? No, right? Doesn't make sense, right? Because look, I mean, there's writing on it. It's, I mean, it's not just something that's out of nowhere, right? But imagine your body is more complicated than this. You have a trillion cells, trillion with the T. And the same cells become skin, the same cells become kidneys and livers. Like, how do they know how to do that? Like, who programs that, right? So when you know there is a creator, then you have to ask, like, why were we created? Like, what's the purpose of life, right? That's a very important question to think about, right? If we're just here to live and die, like you just live, you have sex, you eat, you drink, you die, then what's the point? Right? How old are you? 23. 23. I'm way older than you. Right? I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I'm way older than you. I got at least, you know, I'm not, not going to argue your head, right? 23 years of your life have gone. Right? I'm 40 something, right? 40 years of my life, gone. Good, bad, just memories, right? Each one of us will die, right? No matter, you never know. Tomorrow, 100 years from now, but you're gonna die, right? All of your life will finish. So what's the point? The answer is here. Right? And that's a very important question, right? I'm gonna give this to you as a free gift. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, right? No charge, nothing. You have a bag or something? Yeah, we'll get you a bag even, okay? <laughs> Allah says... I've never read it. You've never read it? Yeah. You're gonna read it, the whole thing. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. And you're gonna become Muslim afterwards, all right? I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this is the path, inshallah, if Allah wills it, yeah. if God wills it, right? Allah tells us in the Quran, This is in Arabic, I'm going to tell you in English, right? Uh, Allah says we created death and life. Now this life, Allah calls it death, because it's a short life, it's meant for death. And then after this life, there's another life. And that life, Allah calls it life, because that's when you live forever. And let me explain it to you. You, you, you seen a woman who's pregnant, right? She has a baby in, in, the, in the stomach. That baby lives a different life in the stomach. They can't eat a churro like this, right? You can't go and chop up. How do you like the churros? Amazing. They're good, right? Yeah. That baby in the womb, it gets fed with the tube, right? It doesn't see other babies, unless it's twins, but usually it doesn't see other babies, like right? It's surrounded, liquid goes into its lungs, right? A totally different life. Nine months, about that life ends and he comes out from the womb of the mother into this world different life now right different different now you got teeth now you're eating now you're seeing now you're talking meeting other people you go and work like totally different you don't have memory of the you don't that memory man you are you are you are you are 
Exactly, right? So now what happens, that child didn't know about this world. Yeah. If I come to a child in the womb and tell that child that you're going to come to a life, there's going to be trees. You're like, what's a tree? Yeah. You know, there are going to be dogs. What's a dog? You're crazy. No, no, I'm telling you, there's going to be another life. You're going to see other people. You're going to talk. He's like, what's talking? You're crazy, right? But then when you come out of that life and you come here, you're like, wow, that's true. Right? That life was only nine months. This life, maybe 90 years. Right? You never know. You know, you know, but it's much longer usually, right? And the rules are totally different, right? Then you will die from this life. And then you'll go into the grave or the ground. This is what we call barzakh. Different life, different rules. You will learn about it. Okay? And then you will die from that life and you will be raised again on a day of judgment. And those prophets, not just the Prophet Muhammad, but every prophet, he told us about this. And then you will be judged and then you have an everlasting life. Right? So and based on, on this life, now you're going to be judged at the end? Yes. And Depends on how you live. Right? Reborn, affected to, to it, your life. You, you, will, you will be raised again and recreated from just a part of the bone that will be left. Like, you know, you take DNA and you cone something, you, Allah will make you again. Right? And then whatever you did in this life, you will be judged. So nobody gets away with anything. You know, let's say you're a murderer, you kill people and they don't get, you don't get caught, Allah will catch you on the day of judgment. Right? You know? That's why we live our life good. Like Christian belief, it doesn't make sense. Or like you just believe in Jesus, you go to heaven. And you tell them, okay, well that Hitler believed in Jesus, is he going to heaven? No, no, no. Well, why not? He believed in Jesus. Question, actually, yeah. Right? Just believing in Jesus or believing in something is not enough. Like in Islam, in this Quran, which you're going to read all the way through, right? Yeah. Allah says, Wal Asr, right? He swears, mm -hmm. our Creator swears by time. Innal insana lafi khus, all of mankind is in loss. Most people, they're lost in their lust, in their desire, their, their illa ladina, except those who amanu, who believe. So, first thing, you got to believe, right? When you go home and you read this, you got to believe because that's what your Creator has sent for you, right? Then, but that's not enough. And you do good deeds. Not like Christians. Oh, I just believe. Khalas, I'm going to heaven. No. You, you believe and then you rape kids and you kill people. You think you're going to heaven? And you no. Confess, then you, just you confess. Where did you get that from? Just confess to some guy, some child molester behind a screen and you know, and that, that you're going to heaven? No. You got to believe. Then you got to do amal salihat. You got to do good deeds. Then tawasu bil haq. You got to call other people towards the truth. And be patient and call people towards patience. You got to bring all of that. And that's when you're saved from loss. Like you got to be a good person. You got to do good things. You got to be a good neighbor. You got to be a good son, a good father, a good mother. All of that. All of us have shortcomings. We're going to make mistakes. That's not. But Allah is the most merciful. Allah is the most forgiving. Our Creator, He forgives us. But you have to try. Look. Christian, you're here. A lot of people walk by, they see this, but they don't care. But Allah put that in your heart, that you wanted to see what this is about, right? And that's the first spark of faith, right? Now where that leads you, it's going to be your choice. And you'll be judged by that, right? If you read the truth and you accept it, and you start being a good person, you become a Muslim, you start praying and fasting, you don't drink, you help people, you help the needy, then Allah will give you that reward in the next life. Right? But if you read it and you're like, eh, I'm just going to go do whatever I want, I don't care. And then just 